In this video, I will teach you how to rebuild face masks from the social network, but because I'm not an anti-social Zuckbot and actually capable of human empathy, I will be using images of cute puppies instead of real people provided by the Pet Finder API. The app you'll build today is live on the internet and you can reference the code on GitHub, so feel free to check that out. By the end of the video, you will have learned how to 1. Use Next.js to write our application code for front-end and back-end. 2. Use CSS to make our application look only slightly ugly. 3. Use the Petfinder API to steal, or I mean scrape, animal data from petfinder.com. 4. Use ELO, a chess algorithm, to assign scores and rank our puppies. If you're new here, like and subscribe to watch more content like this. Now let's get started. First thing we're going to need is a lot of pictures which we can do by taking photos from petfinder.com. You will need to create a developer account and click the get an API key button, then save your client ID and client secret. Next, let's open up our IDE. And as you can see, we have our Next.js boilerplate, which we created by running npx create next app with the TypeScript flag. Next, let's create a file called env.local, which will hold our petfinder client ID and client secret that we saved from earlier. Then create a global schema file and add an animal type, which will have an auto-generated ID, the name of the animal, the animal photo URL, and an ELO score, which will default to 12,000. Next, let's install some packages. First, NeedDB, a convenient NoSQL database for JavaScript, since I'm too lazy to set up a real database like Mongo or MySQL. Then PetFinder.js, an easy to use library that allows us to avoid using Axios or Fetch to access the PetFinder API. Next, we need to create a TypeScript file called Web Scraper, which will effectively seed our database. First, create an exportable default class called Web Scraper, then import PetFinder, the package, as well as a data store package. After that, create an async static function called initDB. Then within the function, initialize the PetFinder client by passing in the client ID as the API key and the client secret as the secret. Next, use a client variable to query the animal search API and pass in the query parameters such as the animal type, which we want to be a dog, animal age, which will be baby since we only want puppies, and a limit of 100. After that, we will need to filter through the response and save only the animals that have a photo. Then map through each animal and return the required animal attributes such as the name, photo, and score defaults to 12,000. Next, initialize our database by creating a new data store with NeedDB and pass in the path to the file name, which will be in the public folder and set the auto load to true. Then insert the animal data by using DB insert and pass in the animals variable as the first argument. And then to ensure everything works, let's console through our errors or results. Next, let's statically call the initDB function. Then in our terminal, type this command to compile our TypeScript code, which we can run with Node.js. And as you can see in our console, the script was successful as it printed all the results. And if we go to the public directory, we can see the database DB file has been created, which has all of our data. Next, head to our index page where we need to import the link dependency. Then let's add some markup for our header as well as our app container, which will hold our animal images. Note, this is static data, which will be replaced in a moment. And as you can see in our browser, our data has been added. Now we just need to add some CSS after we initialize the get animals function, which will ping our API for some data. In our CSS, add a header class with the red background, then typography for the dog mash and rankings link, then a subheading for who is cuter question, then add a main container and choice container, then add some global styles for our image, then create an animal card and the subsequent text for that animal card. Lastly, add a card break for the separation of the images. Now let's preview our application and it looks very similar to the face smash application in the social network. Next, let's create a file to set up our animals endpoint, then import a couple dependencies and add a data type with an optional message and animals attribute. Then set up the default async handler function that every API route needs while passing in the request and response as our parameters. Then in our handler function, initialize the data store by passing in the file name and auto load to true. Then call db.find with an empty object as our first parameter to get all the items from the data store. Then pass in a callback which will either have an error or data object as our options. And if there's an error, throw back a message to the front end saying we couldn't find the records. Otherwise, pass back our data object which should be an animals array. Next, modify our index page by importing the React hooks use effect, which will run every time our component is loaded, and use state, which will allow us to manage the state of our two animals. Then create a state variable for managing our animal1 and animal2 objects. Then in our getAnimals function, fetch data from the animals endpoint we just created. 
then grab the JSON response, then randomize the animal so we get a different one each time, then grab two animals from the randomized animal array, then set the state for animal one and animal two. Then call use effect to initialize our animal state. Note, we only want to get animals if our animal state is undefined. Then in the second parameter, pass in an array of animal one and animal two, which will serve as a dependency or else use effect will run forever. Then initialize the select best animal function, which will include the winning animal first and the losing animal second. Then within our markup, update the static code to use the newly made select best animal method and the animal variable, specifically the name and image. Next, we need to create an endpoint to rank our animals where we need to import the chest ranking algorithm ELO and the data store from the database. Then create a data type with a message attribute and animal one and animal two attributes, as well as a body type, which will have a winner and a loser animal. Then add our default handler function from before, only allowing the post method. Then initialize our ELO object, then parse our request body and grab the winner and loser. Then call the calculate rating method where we need to grab RA and RB. Then initialize our database. Then create an async update method that will update the score for both the winning and losing animal. Then call the update, but not before adding async to the top. Then we need to return back two random animals to our client instead of having to rerun the get animals on the front end. Then head back to our index and modify the select best animal method to call our newly created rank endpoint passing in a winner and loser. Then grab our JSON data. Then from our response, update the animal one and animal two state variables. Now that everything has been added, let's demo our application. And as you can see, we can select the cutest puppy while returning a new batch after every selection. If you notice, I purposely didn't add the rankings page as this will be a part of a challenge where the winner can receive a $50 gift card of their choice but not before you like and subscribe to iCode stuff. The challenge is to create a rankings page that orders the puppies from cutest to ugliest based off of their ELO score. The first person to create a pull request with the functionality will receive a $50 gift card of their choice.